Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thousand pound motor right here, or engine. So, let's start tearing this thing apart. I've never, ever rebuilt a diesel motor before in my entire life, guys. So this is gonna be a learning for me and you. Hey, hopefully we can help you out if you're trying to do this swap because there's really not much online on the Humvee swap. You'll get a lot of people on forums and they talk, like think they know what they're talking about. And some things they maybe do, but I bet they've never done. So, just to get this thing mounted up here to the engine stand is what I'm trying to do right now. This isn't gonna work. I just don't trust the way this is. I think I'm gonna have to go ahead and start this thing off by going ahead and removing the flex plate, the flywheel, and this housing right here that connects to the block from the transmission. So I might go ahead and start removing that stuff and see if I can get the motor situated a little better. I found one video online and it is a Duramax on this same Harbor Freight engine stand that I have. And it works fine, but I've got to do a little bit more removing. I got the up pipe or the yeah, down pipe, all that crap off. This up pipe's got to come off right here. And so I can access some of this stuff back here in the bell housing. And then let's just go. Let's see what we can do. Let's make some progress happen. Hey, before we really get into this at all, I'm gonna go ahead and drain the oil. See what it looks like and yeah, maybe there's no metal. That is as black as paint. <laughs> the flywheel bolts here, you cannot reuse these once you take them out. You gotta go to Chevrolet, I think they're like three or five bucks a bolt. And there's eight of them, so 40 bucks, I guess. I just wedged this old file. It's pretty, well, we'll find out how tough it is. Cause this just turns the whole block when you get to crank it. I put it back through the starter hole and just set it in one of these holes here on the flywheel. And let's see, hopefully it, uh, cross your fingers. Hopefully it holds. Guys, with these bolts, thank goodness for my five foot steel pipe, and you just gotta be violent. I just gave it like a whack, whack, like in the third one, it would break free a little bit. Those were on there. Now we can get them all the way off. Three hundred and sixty-seven thousand miles, and that rear main is beautiful. Nice. It's holding a 
hold this pipe right here. Pull it out. So time for a couple parts tables. Um, yeah, let's get to work. It's the next day over here. Plug away, plug away, plug away. Let's go. I can't help myself. I gotta go ahead and paint a piece. Plus, this thing keeps leaking oil. <laughs> it's taking forever for all the oil to drain out of this thing. This is the oil filter housing. Guys, the inside of this motor so far is looking really, really good. For the amount of miles on it, at least they changed the oil. It is a company truck, so I'm sure it did have service to some extent. But it's looking good. I had to drop that lower pan because there's four bolts that are holding on the very back adapter plate back here to the transmission right there. So let me pull those out and I can get this whole back plate off. Then I can finally get it on the engine stand. Screw trick works. That plate stayed on there though. That is not bad at all. Yes. 
So guys, this is the first glance of the inside of the motor. And I've seen some videos online and this is all sludged up. Look how clean it is. Other than the old dirt, like the fell behind the back of the motor back here. Look at that, nasty. Anyways, all that'll be nice and clean. That oil looked fantastic for a diesel. And it is uh, not bad at all under there. No metal in the oil pan either. Unbelievable, man. We have a really good motor here. Sorry, engine. I mean, guys, can I can I catch a break? What? I'm, I, come on. So I'm backing in here. Terra Test Clay was sitting right here. I catch the edge of the tire on her tire. Thank goodness it didn't damage her car at all, which it's already damaged. So, boof. so it caught this tire. And check this out. It bent that tie rod right there like it was a paper clip. However, O'Reilly did have some Moogs in stock. For one, these are way better than the stock ones anyway. And my truck's lifted and all that, and it definitely needs to be done. Hmm. But why now? And truly, you know, my mom and dad always told me that uh, bad things come in threes. So if this is number two, I don't want to see what number three is. We've got a whole slew of cars to fix. Luckily, this was nothing. It just cost a little bit of money. Driving me broke. Oh, well. All right, enough rent. Let's fix this thing and get that motor on the stand. Because the whole reason I left anyway was to get bolts. I need longer bolts for the engine stand to mount the diesel engine. Let's go. All right, guys, it's out. You know what? Look how bad that thing was anyway. I mean, it was so busted up in there, both of the actual boots and stuff. You know what? I think it was just the good Lord being like, hey, guess what, dude? Time to replace this dumb dumb. And uh, yeah, let's throw in the new one. All right, guys it is the next morning here and we do got the duramax engine on the engine stand finally and we can go ahead and start tearing this thing apart a little bit however this fan's got to come off first i think i might have to run to the store i think that's a 48 millimeter that bust that loose and i don't have anything that big i do got a monkey wrench on there but it's kind of just spinning but in the meantime i can go ahead and get started move some of this wiring that's on top here and uh just go from there let's go to work
Why do you always have me doing this? You can't build cars all the time. Why? Because you it's just me. molt. I mean, it does look. You uh, owe me. A what? You owe me. Why do I owe you? For the car you tore apart in our driveway. Oh. Hey, Kiki. What about these lazy dogs? They can help. All right, I guess I can help you every now and then. It's looking okay. Still got a uh, little ways to go, that's for sure. And this tree, yeah. Come on, Nola, help out. Dude, we've been laying mulch all day. I'm disgusting. I'm disgusting. No, you're not. But anyways, hey, we laid a bunch of mulch, but now we're back on the D-Max here. And I think I actually got this thing busted loose. I did have to go to O'Reilly and get, hang on, hang on. Forty-eight millimeter, I was right, because of YouTube. <laughs> so anyways, we had to go get this and that thing was on there. It was really, really on there. Hang on a lot. But do you want to do the honors? Go ahead. Tell me what to do. Spin it. Like, well, you better take it. You just spin the fan. Keep it coming. It's getting there. It's gonna drop, so make sure you get it. This stupid plastic thing can get it. Tired, man. See, I'm tired. <laughs> Dang, that thing does. It weighs a lot. It does. That ain't no joke. <laughs> Holy crap. I mean, it's not too bad. Well, well you just been slinging mulch all day away. long. Hey, that's <laughs> what happens. Hey, it, it really looks good outside. It looks better. It looks fine. There's no more broken down cars out here right now. <laughs> hey, you the one that got in a wreck, not me. I gotta fix your car next. So there's no more complaining. None. None. For now. You can turn it off. <laughs> can we go to the gas station? No. <laughs> Please. No. All right guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. Hey, we got a ton done on this thing. We got it mounted for one. That's a lot harder than it looks, especially on the Harbor Freight motor engine stand here. But the internals kind of look really good off the first glance on it. Motor oil looks really black, but it's, I didn't see any metal in it, which is awesome. So this thing looks like we do have a very good platform and base to go off of and do our build. So you just got to stay tuned for that. So guys, keep your post notifications on. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.